Hey, Kat here. Um, this is a bit of a bummer. This was meant to be Facebook Live and I am intending to do live video, but my internet connection isn't strong enough, apparently, even though my Wi-Fi router is right next to me. Regardless, I'm not giving up today. I'm going to give you this um, <laughs> video just to see how, yeah, if I can do this, if I can um, actually deliver some content, um, provide some value to you guys without um, just writing stuff. So, you know, I know we don't all have time to read my 2000 page, uh, 2000 word blog posts. Sometimes it feels like 2000 pages. Um, so maybe a bit of live vid could, uh, help in some way. So today I just wanted to talk about how I've been doing this thing, um, which I refer to as basically energy balancing for introverts. And this isn't some woo-woo, like, real like, energy, energy stuff, even though I'm into that. Um, this is just a numbers game. It's just like balancing your books or um, having, like, a budget. So um, the thing that I was writing about on the blog earlier this week is how I basically have started to do this thing, which I've adapted from Arnie Kozak. Um, if you remember last month we had the awakened introvert as our book of choice and Ani talks about um, basically making an energy ledger for the activities you do so some are going to be um, energy consuming draining things and some are going to be restorative like super cozy introvert things to do so for example last night I went out with some new friends um, they're a group of um, like well-being practitioners and we had a pretty chilled evening and we ended it um, in the pub and one of my new friends said I was telling them about the creative introvert and they were like I don't buy it you're not an introvert um, and at the time especially with a glass of wine and me um, I probably didn't come across that way and I can chat a lot if in the right environment and I felt pretty comfortable with these people but I warned them, like, yeah, this is, we're about two hours into the evening, um, give me another half hour, an hour, and you'll see um, the introvert in me. And it, so it happened. Um, about an hour later, I was, my eyes were closing and I wasn't really tired. It was just um, mental exhaustion. And I, yeah, I just, I got pretty quiet and <laughs> went to the toilet and then I was like, you know what, I just need to go. Um, yeah, and that is just standard me, um, and I imagine some of you guys, all of you guys, can relate to that. You know, you start strong, especially you know once you've warmed up, you can go out, start strong, and uh, then that energy just goes. And so, I would say that that evening ranked maybe a minus three on my introvert um, energy scale. So um, minus ten might be like speaking on stage in front of a load of people. Super scary, um, pretty draining, and you know, you get the adrenaline and that just exhausts you, your mouth goes dry, at least it does for me. And then something very restorative, a plus 10, would be, um, like for me, it would be crochet and a movie, just on my own. <laughs> that would be a lovely plus 10. So the aim of this is just to kind of balance things out Ideally, you'd want to end um, each day or at least each week in a positive number, um, you know, or, or even just around zero, because at least for me, I know that if I'm not pushing myself enough, if I literally just introvert solidly uh, for a, a day or a week, um, then I'm like not pushing myself far enough outside of my comfort zone and probably lacking... Um, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I've got relationships that I should be upholding, regardless of how introvert I'm feeling. So it's just about balancing that. And if I find that my week is like really getting in the minuses, I know that I need to start saying no and taking it easy and going to bed earlier and stuff like that. So yeah, that was that was basically what I wanted to say. It was just a way of, you know, managing your time. Um, and you might think, well, why can't I just look at my calendar and see, you know, I'm clearly doing a lot of things that day. Well, for me, that 
it doesn't matter how many things that I'm doing in the day or how long my to-do list is because a lot of those things could be pretty chilled. Like today, I haven't had to speak to anyone apart from a woman who I ordered coffee from and it was like a very plus um, restorative day. Um, which means that I've pretty much got energy in the bank to be doing this right now, which is probably like a minus three, maybe, um, another minus three. Um, and, you know, if it was live, it'd probably be more like a minus five, six. Um, but yeah, I, I know that I've got energy in the bank and I can do this and that I'll end the day on a nice level. So that is my tip. Um, it'd be very interested to know if that works for your brain. It, it's not for everyone. It's definitely works for me because I like, when I can have stats and numbers, I'll take them. Um, that's the INTJ in me, maybe. Um, but yeah, be interested to know if you try this um, and if you want any, if you have any questions about it. Um, and I've also got the blog, it's all written up on the blog, thecreativeintrovert.com, you know it and um, hopefully do more of these when my internet connection is, is better on form. Adios!